All right, today I'm going to share with you um, about the animal science for the ACE curriculum. ACE stands for Accelerated Christian Education. I will have a link below to their website in case you're curious about them. Each uh, subject for ACE comes in 12 paces. One of these is called a pace. There are 12 of them that are for each grade level. And this grade level is for second grade. It starts at 1013 and goes all the way to 1024, right? And once you finish 12, it's considered one grade level. So this is what I, one of the things I love about ACE is that it has, it's not, it doesn't say second grade on it, you know? You can use this according to whatever level your children are on. If you're curious about assessment for this, there is also um, a free test that you can take online to find out where your child should be and what paces. Now, the new thing that my daughter is doing is animal science this year. We've never done animal science before. We've only done regular science. And I thought since we do science together as a family using Christian Kids Explore Science, well, I thought that this, because sometimes the things that we're learning in that are a little above her, and I try to incorporate it, you know, and work it out and teach it where even the five-year-old can understand some of the things, but sometimes the information does get lost. And I, I understand that. So I thought this would be fantastic for her. So I just wanted to give you a little overview of what this animal science is. So as I said, you get 12 paces per subject per grade level. This is second grade and the first pace is 1013. And it says animal science right at the beginning. And each one comes with a test that is in the middle. That's the other thing about AC. This one was already taken out. I wanted to show you it in here. In the middle of the pace is a test. So it comes with the test. And what you would do is just rip that out and set it aside until the child is done with the pace. So this being the first one, you would open it up and the child is going to read goals to you. At the beginning of each pace, every subject has this. It says right on there, read to your supervisor my goals. And in the goals, it tells you what you're going to learn to, about in this pace. So the animal that they're gonna learn about in this animal science is sheep. They're gonna learn about sheep and mammals that they're, or sheep that are mammals. They're gonna learn about, and this is a religious, they use the King James Bible, which I just think is fantastic that they use it. And there is also a character uh, study that they use in each pace. They, they're going to learn a character trait. And this is like this throughout the whole entire ACE curriculum. Every pace has one. And the Bible verse, see, it's learning about being content. And the Bible verse is be content with such things as ye have, Hebrews 13, 5. And then it also has cute little uh, cartoons to go along with the kids. I remember I loved these when I was, I did ACE from 7th grade till 12th grade when I graduated. And it was always great because they're ongoing. They continue throughout all the grades. So as you can see in here, the child's going to find and read Psalms 23 to your supervisor. Now, my children read supervisor, but they know the supervisor just means your teacher. Because if you went to an ACE school, the teachers are called supervisors. So here we have a simple page that is about a lamb. You know, what is it? And it's a dotted out of a lamb. And then we start going to the first page. This is where my daughter got overwhelmed because this is a big difference from the first grade paces that she was doing. So you have vocabulary words and how to pronounce them and then what they mean. And then they have to find the, you know, fill them in the blanks. So I did this with her and I helped her as much as I could because I did not want her to get overwhelmed with this new way of doing her work. So I just had her do the four pages because I didn't want her to have to turn the page again and look at this and go, oh, I have to read all of that and answer all the questions. Because in all her first grade paces, it's basically multiple choice. And uh, it's like every other page. Some pages are multiple choice and some pages are blank like this, but there's not this many, right? But there is a lot of reading to do in the other paces. So this is great. They're gonna learn about how sheep are special animals and how they use the ram horns in Bible times to use other things. So this is another way my children get Bible also because everything that in each subject, they take that information and apply it to how it is used in the Bible as well and how it is taught in the Bible. So as you can see, they're gonna learn about what they like to eat. Lambs learn to eat like sheep, all right? So it's really fun and 
colorful for children to see all of this. And they're going. AC's going to go to his grandpa's farm, and then uh, they have checkups to see what the children remembered from what they've learned, and then they go on some more information. You know, here's another maze. There is like a little question, what what are we? Here's a fun page for them to do, All right? So there are lots of fun things and there's more vocabulary and usually the cartoon has to do with the vocabulary words because this one right here has to do with fleece. And that's just how it is. It's just really great, another checkup. And then when they're all the way done with the pace, they get to the very end, which is the self-test. And they take their self-test, and then they have to score it, and then they have to recite their verse, the one that they read in the beginning. Be content with such things as you have. They're going to eventually quote it to their supervisor, to their teacher. So that's one of the paces. That's just a quick little walkthrough of that. And in each pace, they're going to learn about a different animal. And in the second pace, they're going to learn about a pet dog, how to care for a pet dog, learn how dogs that help men. And there's new vocabulary words. See how they throw in these fun things every once in a while? This is what I love. Even my kids that are in fourth and fifth grade have fun pages like that, you know? They're going to learn all about dogs. You know, here's stuff that our dogs are hiding in the page, you know? So that's like simple fun for them. All right, so that's just how it is. And it's like that in all the paces. Let's see what the next one's gonna be. The next animal is going to be horses. So now submitting yourselves one to another. There's a Bible verse and the character trait is being submissive. So this is going to be another fun thing for them to do. And there's all sorts of coloring pages and fun activities and learning about the, the horse and the different types of horses and what they do. All right, and I'll show you the last one, number 16, to see what animal this is. And here we're going to learn about cats. All right, see, you do have these coloring pages every once in a while. And then there's more vocabulary words. So this is great. I really am so excited for her that she's going to learn more specific things about animals in all of these paces. And there are 12 of them. And they also have score keys if you prefer to buy the score keys. But what I'm doing to save money is not buying the score keys. I am just going to score them myself. So that is a quick look into animal science. This is grade two for the ACE, Accelerated Christian Education. It is not AC curriculum. It's called ACE, okay? It's accelerated Christian Education. So if you hear somebody call it ACE, this is what most likely they're talking about, All right? So if you have any questions or want to see any other subjects on this, the only subjects we have are English, math, and animal science right now. But I do have some old word building paces that I can show you if you want to see what those look like. And I also have some Bible reading paces, and I think that's it. But they do have a subject for every single subject in school. They have paces where they have foreign language, they have Bible studies, they have economics, they have, you know, the math goes all the way up to the, the hard stuff, past algebra, and, um, Let's see, etymologies, all the different sciences. So there's all sorts of stuff, all right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, be a blessing.